So today I am gonna go over the logic of some of the big financial mistakes I made in Magic the Gathering. And you know, um, I don't think there is a more interesting mistake I made than buying sealed boxes. Now I bought sealed boxes for a uh, Magic cards for many reasons. Um, number one, I did believe in the market. So whatever Alpha Investment was pumping at the time I was buying, it is actually Alpha Investment's collection. Mo multiple collections were going to either be sold to Alpha Investment for pennies. I paid twice as much as his offer, which was way more uh, than I should have paid. So again, we were using buy list. The Dave and Adams buy list at the time was redonkulously high. Uh, it was just insanely high so you had everyone and their grandmother come to me with that same exact buy list wanting to sell those same exact boxes and so i bought i bought a lot i think i bought in total two hundred thousand. some of those boxes were older um i mean some of the collections were one box of every set uh, some of them were like oh just a bunch of you know boxes of the same sets over and over again and there was a massive sealed collection of collector's edition. I'll break it down in each of these sub segments. Collector's edition, draft, and then set, and then other specialty products, actually a lot of secret layers. Um, they just kind of came with the product. And then once you bought enough of these collections, you accumulate a ton of secret layers. The rationale I had was at the time we had, I had made a hire and this individual was supposed to do live streaming. So I had tested live streaming. I had actually bought the lighting, the, the lap, the desktop, the OBS and, and I had hired this individual and we paid this individual. And the idea was she would live stream these box breaks, just like backyard breaks and to get a wide selection. So we, we have a lot of the new stuff. We always get the new stuff. We always have access to the new stuff. But War of the Sparks, Dominaria, people wanted kind of a, a more of a vintage-ish, you know, again, to call them vintage is a stretch. Then we would have that opportunity for, that for them. And if they want to open a War of the Spark box for 140, 150, we would be happy to do it because we bought it for 120, right? There's still a profit margin for us. So, um, number one, I drank the Kool-Aid. I drank the Rudy Chan Kool-Aid about seal boxes always going up in price. Turns out it was not true. And, and again, uh, I have no one to blame but myself. There, I mean, I, I, like, just frankly speaking, uh, I believed in what he believed in and I have the same heavy bags he has because I believed in it. S secondly, I believe there was a niche in the market. I had done live streaming and we hit over a hundred viewers a few different times. And I thought that was pretty, a hundred concurrent viewers. Yeah, I know on whatnot, if you can get to a hundred concurrent viewers, you're good to go. That your channel is for magic, the top magic channel and whatnot. Again, are the YouTube viewers different from the whatnot viewers as I later found out? Yes, the YouTube viewers are not on the platform to buy. The whatnot viewers are on the platform mostly to buy. So again, is the whatnot viewer more valuable in terms of you know a person who buys a box than the than the um, YouTube viewer? Yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. So we're doing live streams, we're having fun, it was going well, and then I was going to transfer to this new person. Problem was, she didn't have a car, which I didn't know until later because she had said she needed a car and we had to Uber her in and out. The Uber alone would be at, from her location over $100 back and forth. And then, you know, the salary that she wanted was actually much higher than I thought was reasonable because I was giving her, if she stayed for 90 days, she would get 20% of this company, this box breaking company that I was starting. Uh, there was also the idea of the print store, which we invested a lot of money into. And I mean, re, I, I, just, I don't know why people say we, I don't know why I say we, but it really is I, okay? So it's just me, it's like one dude. 